Uh, hello, my name is Abhishek and welcome to my YouTube channel. Namaste, my name is Abhishek and welcome to my YouTube channel. Mein aapka swadat hai. Hola, mi nombre es Abhishek y bienvenido a mi canal de YouTube. Pretty cool, right? In today's video, we are going to see how I generated these uh, amazing voices using just one single model called Bark. I'm also going to show you towards the end how you can clone any voice by just 10 seconds of audio clip. This is one of the best YouTube channels for applied machine learning. Yeah, that's something that you will be able to do by the end of the video. I tried to clone Obama's voice, voice by using only 10 seconds of audio. So this is the repository of Bark. And Bark is a transformer based text to audio model created by Suno. It can generate very realistic uh, voices. So text to speech is very realistic. It also has multilingual speech. And it can also generate music, background noises, or simple sound effects. So we are going to take a look at all these. And in the end, the bonus is you will be able to clone anybody's voice um, by just using 10 seconds of sample. So um, Bark does not actually provide that functionality. So we are going to see how we can do that. Um, Sure. So, so to get started, you all you need to do is update your Transformers versions, and then we can just use Transformers. So, uh, let's get started in VS Code. I will just write from Transformers import auto processor, and I do have a reference with me for the code and Bark model. And we will just create a function so that we can simply uh, keep on generating uh, different uh, texts easily without having to change a lot of code. And we will also import SciP. I will let you know why we do that. Okay. Uh, and now things are a little bit simpler, hopefully. So we create a processor. Processor, your auto processor. And here you write the model name. Um, forgetting dot from pre-trained which is suno slash bark so if you're doing it for the first time it's going to download the model and everything it's going to take a while if you don't have very fast internet but next time it's quite fast it's, it just doesn't have to download use the cache so suno slash bark and let's send the model to CUDA so that we don't take several minutes, but just a few seconds to generate an audio. Then we define a function called generate audio, which takes three different arguments, text, preset, and output. So text is a text. Preset is something that we were going to take a look at. So inputs is processor text and voice underscore preset is preset um, and we are going to send all the inputs to CUDA again for k comma v in inputs inputs k go to v dot to CUDA So now we will generate an audio array, which is model dot generate inputs. So now we have an audio array, and now we are going to convert it to. Um, now we are going to put it on CPU device. So audio array. Is audio array dot CPU convert to numpy, and since it's batch size one and it's just one sample, squeeze. Okay, 
Um, now, what is the sample rate? So sample rate is also saved in model config. So I can just say model dot generation config dot sample rate. And now we are going to use SciP to save it. SciP dot IO dot wave file dot write. Here is your output, the output file name, rate equal to sample rate and the array itself. So that's data. I have to take a look there. Audio array. Okay. Uh, great. So now we can just run it. So I can say generate audio. Uh, text. My text will be, hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay. And uh, now we have the preset. Okay. Let's leave it blank for now and output. Equal to output dot wave. Okay, so now let's let's go back to uh, the repo and see what presets are. So preset. Um, so they have created a voice prompt library, and these are the presets, basically the presets here. So if if I if I click on this one, let's say okay, this is Hindi and Spanish. So let's get rid of all the filters and you can see like there are many different languages in which the presets are available. Um, so for example, let's take a look at uh, this prompt audio here. So I'll... There are a lot of things I could talk about, but it would probably sound similar to this. Okay, so this is one of the prompt audios. So idea is just basically like language models, you have a prompt and then you have some kind of continuation. Es gibt eine Menge Dinge, über die ich sprechen könnte, aber es würde wahrscheinlich so ähnlich klingen. So this was the German one. And similarly you have, you have a lot of them, uh, different, uh, for different languages. So since we typed in English, uh, let's, let's copy this, uh, female voice. And um, go back to VS Code and let's paste it here. So V2 and speaker 9. Let's try to run this and hope for no errors. Generate.py. And it's going to take a few seconds only to generate uh, the audio. So yeah, well, I do have an error. As usual, it should be dot .items. Okay, let's run it again and see what happens. So after a few seconds, we have the out wave here. Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Pretty good, right? And um, Bark allows a lot of different things. So you can also modify the audio. So uh, let's, let's go to this one and if you scroll down a bit there is a dictionary so you can also include laughter music gasps uh, clear throat these kind of things so let's let's try a few things you can include this for song ly lyrics so let's try the song lyrics one let's add a text prompt here and we have text prompt. So this is, I've just copy pasted from the readme of Bark. So uh, with the Unicode music here and one in the end. And let's try this one. And it generates something like this. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion barks tonight. I, I, don't, I don't think there is any music there. So let's try to set this to none and so that we don't have a, a pre-prompt 
and now let's try what happens okay in the jungle Jungle, the lion box tonight. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, so I, I, was, I just wanted to show you that it, it works. Um, so we, you can also include like laughter, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, now I have not uh, included any kind of preset. <laughs> Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And not too bad, right? And um, there is also one more feature. Um, you can you can try that on your own. Uh, but like, yeah. So this is the Transformers documentation. So the feature is like, if you have a mix of different languages so like this is uh, German and then then you have an English so it will start in German and keep the accent so you will see like it's uh, generating the English text in German accent so this is also something that you can try on your own okay now let's move on to the next part which is cloning so for cloning, uh, you will need to we will need to use another repository. So we will be using the TTS package by Kokui AI. I hope I'm pronouncing that uh, correctly. But if not, doesn't matter. It works. So they have uh, Bark now, but it's uh, it's not really very straightforward. Uh, the documentation doesn't um, say a lot of things, and it took me a while uh, to get this up and running. So uh, let's try it out. Okay, uh, we are back to my VS Code and now you see there's a lot of stuff here. So the first thing is this, the repository. So you, you can just clone the repository. And uh, next thing is I've created a folder called bark underscore voices. You can call it anything you want. And inside that I have something called uh, another folder speaker. So that can be uh, also be anything you want. And inside that I have speaker underscore zero. So like, let's say I'm using the voice of Obama. So here it is, the sample. Then I have faith that we will emerge from this trying time even stronger and more prosperous than we were before. Okay, so this is a sample and that's only 10 seconds. And uh, I can also call this folder uh, Obama and Obama underscore zero. And Bark allows you to have only one file, um, at least with the TTS package. So we import the config from tts.configs.barkconfig and the model, it's similar to transformers. And then SciP we have to save the wave file. So we have initialized the config. Then you have a model in it from config. So exactly like transformers. And then you load the checkpoint and my checkpoint directory here is bark slash uh, because it doesn't like the hugging face checkpoints. And then this is also not in the documentation. So you have to move it to CUDA device if you have GPUs, otherwise it's going to be super slow. And then I wrote a text and then you can use the model.synthesize function. You have to remember the speaker ID is your folder name and voice directories is where all the voices are. Uh, if you put this as random, then it's going to generate random voices. But I'm, I'm going to use it only for uh, cloning the voices. So now I can just go to terminal and type python clone.py. Let's see if it sounds anything like Obama. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yeah, I would say not too bad. Not too bad at all. So anyways, uh, this is the video and um i hope you like it do subscribe do like and try it out on your own and if you have any questions or comments uh, feel free to leave in the comment section and see you in the next one